Hey everybody, Max here. Today we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be heading out to the Texas Panhandle to try and photograph sprites. Now, sprites are an upper atmospheric discharge that happen above powerful thunderstorms with a lot of CG lightning. So the trick is you have to be pretty far away so you can see up and over the tops of the thunderstorms. Uh, and you wanna stay out of the anvil spread, you wanna stay out of any other areas with cloud cover, and preferably you wanna be uh, at a point in time where the moon is not very bright. Now, thankfully we are at a phase where uh, we're entering a new moon sequence, so we should be good on that aspect. Clouds are always a variable that we're going to have to contend with, um, but we do have the type of thunderstorms that are most frequently producing sprites moving through our area, so that's good. I've got a new camera to play around with. It's the Sony a7S II. It's about as good as you can get for low light sensors on a consumer camera, so we're hopefully gonna be able to capture a few decent sprites with it. I'm, uh, you know, I'm crossing my fingers we get a couple decent ones at least one of these nights. All right, we gotta punch through this to get to the clear air on the other side. It's worn for tennis balls. Got the setup here. Lawn chair, camera pointing off to the north. Got a few so far. Oh, it's bright. Oh, very nice. Oh, nice. Sprite's happening right now, so I'm not gonna. All right, I finally found a semi-clear spot, and there are a lot of sprites. I'm getting... Oh, there's just another one. I'm getting them every few minutes. Right. Well, we managed to capture sprites every single night that we went out for a three-day stretch, so no complaints about that. I definitely want to continue pursuing this. I've only done it kind of off and on leisurely over the past couple years, but this was my first time going all out, pretty much staying up all night, battling with clouds and light pollution, but I think I'm starting to finally get it down a little bit more. So I'd like to add the Sony A7S to my collection permanently so I can get out and do this more often. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more weather-related content, and I'll see you out there next time.